everybody, Cindy Otter here with my Artsy Endeavors. All right, let us let me show you what I have decided to do for the My Year of Self-Expression 2017. And this is a, um, it's basically a free journaling class for the year of 2017. I say class lightly because we're not going to have a lot of, you know, we're not going to say draw a flower. We may give you a suggestion. Um, this is being put together by myself, Gina Ahrens, Ann Williams, Jerry Bellini, Wendy Mason, and Wanda B. I can't say her last name, but what we're doing is we're actually going to show you and throughout the year share videos with you on our journaling. Now some people, um, there's several different ways to journal. You can do a documented lifestyle journal. You could do a just private writing journal. Now for personal, that's what I do. I personally sit and write in journals. I do that every night before I go to bed. I call it, you know, I call it my, my I empty my brain. So brain dump, if you want to use that term. Um, but, and then I have my normal planners, which, you know, that's the day-to-day -day doctor's appointments, that kind of stuff. And what I've decided for 2017 is I decided to go a little bit different. Um, other than my regular planner, which is where I have all my appointments, all my videos, all that kind of thing, I decided to separate out my videos, my creativeness, my inspirations, anything that has to do with my creativity or um, with my inspiration or anything to do with my art is going to be in this fabulous journal. Now the cover, um, as you can see, is a galaxy cover. I asked my dear friend Gina to make this for me <laughs> um, because I knew what I wanted to do. Um, so she was so gracious enough to make this for me and, and Gina, you know I love it and thank you so much. Um, then I just put, this was actually a string of beads that I bought just like that. And what I did is I just took a piece of metal and ran um, through here. This is just some little danglies, a little bit of texture, um, a beautiful peacock feather, just pretties hanging here on the side. Isn't that gorgeous? A little gold feather. Okay, anyways, um, I, all I did to the front is I put these on, just some randomness. This was a pin. It actually said baseball. I stuck that button on and this key is there because this is a key to my creativity, okay? Let me bring it in just a little bit. Okay. All right. What I've decided to do is I am using, here's where I just added that through. See, it's a piece of metal. Um, I have decided to use a composition notebook. And the composition notebook is, um, I had taken the front and the back and I just did some decoupage on it. And then I covered it with clear packing tape. That way I'm not going to worry if, you know, nothing's going to be able to start coming up. And I figured it would last longer that way. I've got three little pockets here. They have tags that I want to use in my creative journal. We have um, some from the library of, and we'll be getting into that more later. This is just some papers to imagine as everything I thought would fit really well in here. This um, may end up having to come out, depending on what's in it. I bought this quite a while ago when they first started coming out with the planner stuff. This might stay in here for now. Yeah, I think this is going to stay in here for now um, because it's got a lot of goodies in here that I can use with the creativity that I'm going to do in this book. So there's a pocket there for that. There's another pocket here, so if I get anything I want to stick into here later on. And made especially by Gina, which is fantastic. This was just my little note of what I'm going to be using this for. I'm going to call it my inspirational journal. And it's going to be a place where I can put in my videos. I don't know if I'll really use scheduling in here. We'll see. Um, what I watch, projects that I'm doing, or who inspires me, or any new technique that I've done, or a lesson that I've done. And I'll show you how I've got it set up. This is my main page. First thing I did is I went through with the composition notebook and I glued every two pages together. Okay. Then I went through and I put washi tape at the end of every page. Now we have tons and tons and tons of washi tape, so you won't run out. Um, this is going to be my dream. Okay. My hap this 
opening page is I plan on doing this January 1st and what I'm going to do and don't mind my nails I'm really sorry but I just spent a weekend with Diane Reevely um, and we played so much with paints and sprays that I don't think it'll ever come off but anyways um, so I'm gonna put my hopes and dreams and what my plans are for 2017 I may decide to put down what classes that I decided to take for this year um, all of that is gonna go right here okay so this is like my dream page my goal page if you want to call it that then what I did is I set it up by month now I've got a small calendar here that this is my artwork that I printed it on. Um, I just kind of washi taped, I cut it out small and I washi taped it in here. It does have all the dates on it, which is good for me. These envelopes are fantastic. These were sent to me by a dear friend and I told her I was just astonished to get them because they were so cool. They are all throughout my book. Um, here's my first card from the library. And um, what I will be doing on here is putting down books that I've read, what I think of them, uh, because I like to read whether it's self-help or a murder mystery or um, a lot of creativity books. And the creativity, self-help, that kind of stuff for creativity is going to be in here. Okay, And I actually might take one of these and put it in my regular planner just for books or my regular journal. All right, so this is one page. I did take daubers, and I just played around. I didn't do a whole lot. I just kind of threw some paint down just so it wasn't stark white. You know, I just didn't want that stark white. Then what I did is I actually gave myself two pages for two weeks. All right, so here's the first and second week of January. I stuck this little to-do, weekly to-dos in. Um, this has got, I printed this offline, I believe. Um, it's got weekly to-dos the week of my top three things I need to do I must complete I really should if I have time do not forget calls emails texts I don't know about that maybe emails um, and errands to run now nah, I won't be using that and worries for another week again I am going to do this strictly creative based okay so I will be taking the week to block this off somehow in seven days and I may put down some videos that I watched or a project I worked on or, you know, it's a bad day, no art created, whatever the case may be. So I'm going to do one page a week. This is my plan. Now we'll see how it goes. But I've already got the book set up this way, so it's going to have to work. This is my second two weeks of January. Okay. Now what I did, I believe I went through... And I looked at each month to see, okay, so this one will start in the August, in the February. So same thing here. I put this in. Again, it's held there by washi tape. It's just a reminder of things I might want to do. I threw down a little paint, all right? Next month is February. Here's my pocket. Not sure what I'll put in here. We'll see. Um, same thing. What's going on? What projects? That kind of stuff. Here we go. There's another one and another week here okay so I did this March here's my pocket same thing with the paint just threw down some paint so it wasn't white papers um, okay April pocket good things are gonna happen throw a little paint down all right so you get the idea so I actually set this up all the way to December all right, and you're going to see these each week or once a month, however we decide um, to put the videos out. And like I said, this is going to be my creative journey. Now, I do have pages left in the back, which I did leave completely white because you never know. I may have a special project or... Um, decide to do something else where I need the extra space. Maybe I had a week that was really, really, really busy and I didn't have enough room on the days. So, you know, I can put a tab on this and I can throw a little paint down and say, you know, continuation of blah, blah, blah. All right. So this is what I have done for my inspirational journal. And this is for the My Year of Self-Expression 2017. 
and I wanted to share with you what it looked like, what my idea is behind it, and I hope you join us because several of us are doing this and it's it's going to be really different the way everybody does their journal. It's not a set in stone. You have to do it this way. We're just going to show you the different possibilities on how you can, whether it be a personal journal, an inspirational journal, journal a activity journal. This is what I've done throughout this month. Um, maybe it's um, a health journal. Maybe it is, you know, I'm keeping track of, you know, this is my goal to maybe lose this much weight uh, by the end of this month and this is how I'm going to do it and keep track of what you eat each day or whatever. I mean, there's so many different avenues that this can go. Um, we would really love to see what you come up with and hopefully throughout the year you'll learn some different things from us like I said we will be doing certain prompts and we will be sharing a lot with you out of our own personal journals or inspirational journals at this point um, so we hope you join us alright now if you have any questions please leave them in the comments below I'll be glad to answer them as always be kind give me a thumbs up and hit the like I, you know, it, it only helps the YouTube channel, all right? And it helps me in another sense. But anyways, be kind, have fun. That's what life's all about. And happy creating, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye.